America. He is, uh, he's been at Southwestern Seminary. He's been a Goodwill ambassador. When I was over at Summer Grove in Shreveport, he was the pastor of one of the greatest churches in Louisiana, First Baptist Church, West Monroe, still one of the greatest churches in that state. And he, he's been a pastor. He's done, a, a, well, a, a bunch of things. And I really don't know how to, who to introduce him as because I've, I've heard him uh, as, as a lot of different people. <laughs> but I'll let him introduce some of those folks. I, wanted, I just wondered maybe if he had a word he'd like to say to you before we go over there and eat so that you kind of know who you're going to be listening to uh, when we come back. And I'll say more about him later on. But Brother Dennis, you got anything you'd like to share with us for just a second, brother? Well, first of all, this was just a great, great service, and I sure enjoyed it. I, I started crying when they started crying, you know. Uh, <laughs> reminiscing, you could see the love and everything. And, and, uh, and when I sat down there, and... Uh, Brother Leland, and, and saw Brother Jim sitting over there, I thought, I told uh, Donnie down here, I, I said, listen, I, I know this guy. I've seen him somewhere. And my mind went all the way back, Jim. I'll tell you where. I was pastor at First Baptist Church, Rogers, Texas. And we took a group over to Cameron, Texas, and we were in an old livestock barn. And I saw this little drill instructor. <laughs> When I recognized him, I saluted him right then from down there. He didn't return my salute, you know. He... And, uh, and that was the first time I'd ever heard. I know the outline's been around probably who knows how long, but sin will take you farther than you ever intended to go. Keep you longer and cost you more. Woo, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Say, I listened, I listened. <laughs> Your hair has gotten a little relaxed since I last saw it. <laughs> but it's, it's a thrill getting to be with you and hear you preach. That's good preaching. I loved every minute of that. We're going to have some, I'm going to bring some other folks. Who knows? I may, bro, Brother Jim, Brother Leland, I'm liable to bring a lot of folks. And, and I'm liable to bring Billy Graham. And uh, I've enjoyed being here this morning. And, uh, and I enjoyed that message. I sent that on tape to Brother Jim years ago. And, uh, <laughs> and I provide Leland with literature every week. And, uh, and, uh, and I try to do that. I'm glad to be here. And after we have a little lunch, we're going to go eat a little lunch. And uh, I want you to be gracious and kind as you go over there. When you see Leonard, just genuflect at him. You know what I mean? Just, he won't. He won't know what that means. He'll probably... <laughs> Leonard is out there working hard, isn't he? I tell you, when he gets to heaven, I know what he's going to be doing. That chariot over there, that chariot over here. He'll, he'll be able to eyeball Simon Peter and say, you ain't parking that chariot right here. You hear me? That's going to be good. And then, of course, I may bring back Barney Fife. Now, listen, I don't know. I mean, after you finish your eating, take a roll aid and come back in here. <laughs> We're going to have a good time. Now, some of you are thinking about going home, sitting in your recliner and say you've had enough church. <laughs> well, if you've had that thought, you need to nip it in the bud. Nip it, nip it, <laughs> nip it. <laughs> and as uh, as Jimmy Stewart was saying, now no, listen, some, I, no, some of y'all are a little o older and you're worn out. <laughs> well, you, you, you're going to go home, sit down or l uh, l lay down. And just come here and, and endure a little longer. And Are y'all having church tonight? See, you can sleep all afternoon and all evening. <laughs> but I hope that y'all come back this afternoon and uh, we'll have a good time, a fun time. And, uh, and I appreciate y'all letting me come and be a part. My little wife, Lori, uh, I don't know if she's here yet, but she's about 4 foot 11, 103 pounds, and good-looking little woman. She's, she's joining me today. Uh, I, I, I remember when she fell in love with me and we got married. I said, baby, love. 
do you think I'm a hunk? <laughs> and she said, you're more like a chunk. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but she's here, and uh, I know you're hungry, and, uh, and, uh, and so eat everything. Some of you have been on sugar busters. You need to understand something about sugar busters. That's of Satan. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, more into, I, I'm more into carbs for Christ. Uh, <laughs> carbohydrates for Christ. Amen. I'm bonding with this man over here. A little snow on the rooftop, but a fire in the furnace, I can tell. Well, Brother Leland, you look like you don't miss many meals, so I guess we'll go ahead and... Continue on. Looking forward to being with you this afternoon.